All right, today we're gonna test the dirt bike's limits and see what it can do and what it cannot do. And if you're a fan of the Ultra Nitro Circus, this might be the video for you. So that being said, let's see what the dirt bike can do. So the first thing that I have to do now from now on and forever for every time we get a new vehicle in Fortnite, we're gonna put it in the Mr. Beast press. So if you're wondering what this is, this is the press where Mr. Beast put a Lambo in and I build it in Fortnite. And so yeah, it works pretty well with the Whiplash, aka the Lambo. So today we're gonna try it out with the dirt bike and see how much the dirt bike can withstand. I think Jonesy over there is ready. So with that being said, three, two, one. Well, um, I would say it didn't survive at all. All right, for the first test, we're gonna see how fast the dirt bike is on a 100 tire race. This is the same 100 tire race that I use for every car, and obviously the dirt bike has to do it as well. The first race is gonna be on flat creative ground, and we're gonna basically have a look on how it performs on a flat with no effects, no different underground, because undergrounds can actually affect how fast a car or a bike is. So let's have a look on how fast the dirt bike is on a 100 tire race. Almost 29 seconds, it is not the worst, but it's also definitely not the best. It's obviously dirt bike, not a race bike. All right, so one thing which I really want to see if the movement modulator which basically got re-edited or got redone with the last update actually does affect the bike and if we can get faster speeds while using it um duration is gonna be infinite if that is possible or 600 seconds i guess and let's actually have a look if the speed modulator does affect the dirt bike three two one. Oh my god yes oh my god i think i'm doing a this is so fast yeah, I think we are doing a front wheelie the entire time we are doing this. Okay, so well, I think it's pretty safe to say that the speed modulator can affect the dirt bike, but it, the physics again are a little bit broken. And I think it's only fair to assume that since it's a dirt bike, we should do pretty well on dirt. So maybe dirt in combination with the movement modulator can actually give the maximum speed. But we obviously first have to find out if the dirt actually does make the dirt bike faster. It's taking a lot longer to reach max speed on dirt, which is pretty odd. We're already at 22 seconds. I don't think that dirt actually... We're two seconds slower. So you want to tell me that dirt makes a dirt bike slower? That is almost as confusing as back in the days when the car could not drive fast on road. <clears throat> I mean, that's good to know. So if you want to do dirt bike races, you do not want to do it on dirt. Okay, so I generally wonder what tricks you can do with the dirt bike. I'm pretty sure you can just do very normally backflip and front flips, so there shouldn't be a big problem there. I think we can also very easily do 360s in both sides, or you can even go more than 360. Okay, can we do actually tricks? So we can do the nine o'clock, okay. Okay, so if we press left and jump and shift, we can do a neck neck. Can we do the same on the, oh yeah, we can do right side neck neck as well. Does that mean we only have like three tricks which you can actually do? I mean, in the bindings, it doesn't even give us the options for the tricks, so that's kind of unfortunate. Let's be honest, that would make the uh, dirt bike perfect if uh, you could actually also press in a direction and then like press different buttons and like have different tricks. But I guess it's maybe too much for Fortnite. Or like for example, if you can go in here and then change tricks or something, that would be super cool. We are obviously testing the most extreme vehicle that we had in a while. We obviously have to make it a little bit extreme. So, all right, so the first jump without any help and any boost is going to be three helicopters. I'm pretty sure that deserves a gritty. For this next one, we're gonna jump over 10 mega size Jonesies. And this is with max boost and a boost pad at the end of the ramp. Holy, holy. So there's one last thing which I really want to try out and that's if it obviously works with the D launcher. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we just go for it, right? It does work. Oh, now it adds 720. All right, so I almost forgot to test that out, but we're in the mutator zone now. And I want to see if the mutator zone actually affects the... So it seems like that the mutator zone does not affect the dirt bike at all. So I put it to 200 and it still does the same thing as it would do in normal ones. Okay, so this is the maximum speed and jump that we can possibly get. We have a maxed out D-launcher, we have a maxed out movement modulator and we have a dirt bike. I guess we just go for it. 
Oh my god. Dirt bike, 10 out of 10.